When your phone's battery is low on power, what do you do? You plug it in. It's usually as simple as that, but what if every time you charge your phone, there's a chance you're opening yourself up to hackers? News Force Paige Holsey received a warning about juice jacking. Tonight, she's sharing the new danger with you. After a long day of traveling or just being attached to our phones, everyone needs to recharge. I usually try to bring my charger around with me wherever I go. I brought a portable battery. But for anyone less prepared, public charging kiosks like this can be a lifesaver. It's the convenience of it. You know, so it's right there. I, I mean, I figure what can possibly go wrong just plugging up a phone. You'll find them in offices, coffee shops, libraries, and airports. While we have had no reports of any problems with them here at Lambert, some well-traveled passengers are taking precautions just in case. When you plug into the USB, you're at risk of your information being copied instantly. It's called juice jacking. You could be trading your data for the power that you're getting. And why is that? Uh, it's because of this property that the USB charging cable that we use uh, is not only conducting power, but it can also transfer data. Professor of cybersecurity at Funfun says it's not common, but it is pretty cheap and easy for hackers to do. We have many different small computers nowadays which are very easy to hide. Uh, you could put them behind a, a fake wall, you could put them in a box, label it as a public charging station, and then it's pretty much acting just like your laptop does when you connect your phone to it. But there are a few ways you can protect yourself. Cybersecurity experts tell me if you have to use a public charging tower like this, make sure your phone is locked with a password and turned off. That gives you an extra layer of protection. Or you can buy a data blocker like this, about $5 from Amazon, and this makes it so only power is transferred, not data. But the safest way is just a good old wall plug-in like this. For News 4, I'm Paige Holsey.